Hello and welcome to the channel. This is your host, D-Day, bringing you Enigmatica 2 Expert Mode. If you're enjoying the series, please hit the like button, subscribe, and most importantly, leave a comment. Thank you so much and enjoy the show. Okie dokie, low. So let's see, where did we leave off on? We had a stream with Trin, and I know we finished the mob, uh, the Wither Builder and the mob crusher and we were working on going to space uh yeah last stream i left off on building the uh pump jack and i have the pump jack over here this is how it looks everything's running perfectly pumping into all black ender tank the crude oil power here uh if by chance this doesn't work uh you have to mine from this spot here down to bedrock and run fluid pipe but I think for now it's working so I don't need to do the mining to bedrock uh, I ended up breaking down the entire tower because it bothered me way too much that the front of the tower was facing the wall so I took it all apart it took me another 30 minutes which I didn't want to subject y'all to turned it around the bitumen comes out the front it goes into a trash can and then the uh, crude oil with the ender tank is being transported here. It goes in the back. I ran power lines because I wanted to keep the aesthetic from immersive engineering going. So uh, it, I ran it down a little because there was a conflict from up there. It, it went through this block. So I had to run a little spacer in between here. Uh, and then uh, I figured out what I did wrong with the fluid transfers. The item that I wanted to use was this item. It's from Immersive Engineering. It's a fluid router. So what I did is uh, I grabbed buckets. I grabbed a bucket of diesel, a bucket of gasoline, and a bucket of lubricant. And what I did was I did a an ender cable, fluid cable coming out, inserting into the fluid router, and then behind these trash cans is a is a color it's a different color on each see here you can see blue and this one you can see green and I believe yeah this one is red so then I took the bucket and I put gasoline here I put diesel here and I put lubricant here so lubricant comes out of blue side gasoline comes out of the red side diesel comes out of the green side and then I put trash cans because right now I don't want uh, gasoline or diesel and I can change that later uh, and then I put the ender tank for the lubricant here on triple yellow so now I have the ender tank working perfectly it looks nice it's nice and compact and what's great is the machine over there keeps running and it but because the crude oil ender tank is full it stops pulling the crude oil so it's not going to waste crude oil and then the way I have this set is this machine makes gasoline diesel and lubricant but when it fills up with one of them it stops everything so the crude oil has stopped the lubricant is now full uh, because it makes all three so even though it's trashing the diesel it's trashing the gasoline the machine gets stuck because it fills with lubricant because the ender tank fills with lubricant and doesn't go anywhere so when I start using the rolling machine and it uses lubricant, it'll start making gasoline and diesel. It'll throw those away. But then as soon as I'm done, it'll fill up again and everything will stop. So it doesn't waste the crude oil, the diesel, or the uh, gasoline. It just makes the system stop. So you don't have to worry about anything being wasteful. Uh, so let's jump straight into the... I don't need to teleport. I'm right here. Let's jump straight into the basement. We can put down the rolling machine. And, uh, oh yeah, I also, I cl yeah, cleaned this place up. I moved the liquid oxygen setup, like I was talking about. I moved it over here and I put some cables in. Big, big, doofy, derpy me. The, of course, you know, the reason why it wasn't working with the chemical infuser is because it's not a liquid, it's a gas. Uh, so I had to use the ender gas conduits, not the liquid conduits. I was trying to make it move liquid, but like my, one of my biggest confusions is the machines, do they make liquids? Do they make gases? So this chlorine is a gas. 
uh, and it turns it into liquid chlorine. So if it's a liquid, it'll actually say liquid whatever, and then the name of it, it will always be a gas from what I understood. So I ran, I spread this one apart, so now the, the chlorine goes through here and turns into liquid chlorine, which feeds the, uh, the, 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 for titanium, the thermi, the advanced metallurgic fabricator makes titanium. And then I have a, another cable, I spread it apart, that goes down and under and up so that I can keep this in a straight line. It also feeds it into here. And then from the other direction, we have the uh, electrolytic separator, which is uh, making hydrogen and oxygen. So the hydrogen goes in here with the chlorine mixes into hydrogen chloride, which uh, is a gas. So I'm going to be making, eventually be making a quantum entangleporter. I'm gonna put the hydrogen chloride into the quantum entangleporter. And then I'm gonna make another uh, quantum entangleporter for the space station when I wanna or quadruple. Uh, and then of course, yeah, the oxygen goes over here and turns into liquid oxygen and gets put into the uh, liquid, into the ender tank for liquid oxygen. That's what fuels our spaceship right now. Uh, I went ahead and I put the lubricant down over here because I needed to put things down and be good for the night mentally. So uh, what we were working on, now that we have lubricant, now we can make the rolling machine which needs lubricant to make the titanium high pressure tanks which go into our space shoots, suits which then get filled with oxygen from here and that will let us breathe in space Whew. lot of uh, a lot of busy work so let's shift right click we are going to making the rolling machine Oh yeah, I keep forgetting, it's you click and you pull it. So we're making the rolling machine, and I do want the rolling machine to keep going over here in this order. How Did I keep a good order? No, here's... I did three because, okay, so I can do one in between. That's what I want to keep doing. So let's put it here. One in between. Sit on the same row. And one back. Yeah, that's exactly where I want it. Perfect. It would be funny if the ender tank is actually in the exact spot. I just threw it down because I got kind of frustrated. And I was like, I'm done. So we need to put power in the front. Power in the front. We need fluid input in the front. And then we need machine structures. There, there, there. Machine structure. The two coils. We got iridium coils. We got the motor. And then output hatch, double output hatch. Which I don't understand why this machine has two output. And then let's move this scroll wheel up cool the rolling machine which oh i haven't built it yet because i wanted the dinger on stream rolling machine i don't have everything so i need one of each and i need a user interface so let's see circuit i need a green one i need a yellow one and then I need the blue one right here. The blue one is always the one that takes a little bit longer because it has to make the ME pieces, the ME fluid storage components first. So it takes a little bit longer. Rolling machine, you ready for me now? Nice, there we go, rolling machine. Can I get the dinger for it? Ooh, advancement, rolling. And the dinger, perfect. 
Let's go with the top one, because these dungeon loot chests, I thought they were cool at first, but now it's kind of kind of a whole lot of the same stuff, unfortunately. I kind of wish I would get random epic drops now again, even though sometimes they were disappointing and I got a stack of grass. It's it was it was still better than the dungeon loot we're getting now. So rolling machine did not work because I got lag. I'm still trying to learn how to do the uh, the shift and spacebar with creative flight so that I can place the machine down. Uh, okay, in double inputs. And then more machine structures. Nice. And then we should be able to turn this bad boy on. Nice. See, I like this one because it, uh, it looks really neat. But it's almost like some of these machines are incomplete on their rendering. This one looks like the one that's put together the most like design wise. So we need fluid hatch. We need to put in the uh, lubricant. So let's see, can I place this guy right in front and have it go in? Or I'm going to have to, I'm probably going to have to Oh, no, there we go, it goes in. You just have to flip the dial on the front to output. So there we go, this one's getting lubricant now. And we can we can hit on, and yeah, of course, I need to turn it on. I need to run the power cable. Power goes here. Let's see if we can run this cable. Oh, that's bummer. I put in iridium coils, but they're, they look like copper coils. And I went down one too far. Boop. Let's go. There we go. Already made it there. And power. Yep, let's go. How you doing? You got power, baby. Nice. Put this up here. Sweet. There we go, looking clean. I like it when machines come together like this and it looks super clean. Yeah, yeah. Sweet, let's, so let's bust this bad boy out. We need to make some tanks. Tank. We'll go straight for the super high pressures. We need titanium sheets, which require titanium plates. So let's make some of those. Let's make 20. And let's open up this loot chest while we wait. Ah, uh, yeah, same old stuff. Knockback 2, I did in one of my loot chests off, off stream, I did get an ancient tomb that had the uh, air sealing breathing thing so that I could put the enchantment on my chest piece and then I could bypass all of this what we're working on right now but I didn't want to be anticlimactic put forth all of these episodes at least three episodes worth and then go oh never mind guys I can enchant my my chest piece now and make you feel like you wasted your time watching those episodes plus it's kind of fun for me to go through this and learn it on how uh how all this this stuff works. So let's see, we should have the, the, the 20 titanium plates. We'll run them through. 
And the input is here, yeah. So there we go. Let me turn off the... Nice. See? It goes in as an ingot and it comes out as a sheet. <laughs> it looks kind of silly. But I love the machines that have the animated parts to it. Let's see if I can goofy speed this. Let's see, what's the lucky block? There it is, it's the controller itself. Which output hatch did you go to? This one. Oh wow, it makes a lot! So 20, I, I thought it was one for one, I didn't look at the recipe close enough. I don't think I need this many. Titanium sheet, let's see. Titanium sheets are used for, okay, area gravity controller, okay, and tanks, whoops. I didn't look at the recipes, <laughs> whoops. So yeah, we have an overabundance of these sheets now. Maybe I can melt them back down. I don't know, bummer. Four, so let's see. We need, or I can just make a whole bunch of these super tanks and put them everywhere just for the funsies. So yeah, it also needs the lubricant for the titanium sheets to be turned into super high pressure tanks. And we only need two. So we need two per person. <sighs> All right, so let's just drop in the eight in the input. There you go. Oh, they cut, they lose their color, I guess, and it's a little slow. Makes a really big, wide image. Flatten it. Ingot, even though it's not an ingot anymore. Flattened. Ah, four tanks. That's our tanks. That's all we needed it for. It's kind of a bummer. I wish I could repurpose these machines to do cooler things, but that's all we needed it for. The lubricant, all of that just to make these tanks. So let's go upstairs to new mechanism. That's the roof. And we can sleep. And let's see how this upgrading works. Let me snatch that. And I'll put you in and two tanks. And then do I just take you back out? OK, cool. And then let me do the same thing with you. Put you in. Nope, the wrong one. There we go. Put you in two super tanks. We should be good on oxygen. Those are the super tanks. Let's see what other upgrades there are. At advanced rocketry. It's an enderman trying to get my attention. We got some missing blocks, nitrogen, rocket fuel. That's probably the stuff that was removed. Bummer. I would have liked to make rocket fuel with the chemical reactor. It would have been nice to stay within the mod. We can get padded landing boots. I'm not sure if if the entire suit has to be worn or if only this chest piece can can be my seal detector. I don't think that's an upgrade. Well, let's see. Let's take the helmet and see what Shows four upgrades, but it doesn't show what it is. I'm sure one of the upgrades is the anti-fog that I saw. Beacon finder might be one. Anti-fog visor. Basic lens, small battery, control circuit. Like, is this required? Basic lens is easy to make. The small batteries we've made. 
control circuit. Not sure exactly what from these things are required. The padded landing boots sound nice. I'm not sure if they're going to let us use our angel rings. Control circuit, leather boots, advanced circuit. Atmosphere analyzer, does that go in the suit? I'd have to research this a little bit more. But these are the upgrades that I'm not really that crazy about. Only thing I need is definitely we need to breathe in space. So let me put this on. And let's go downstairs. O2, does it already have some O2 in it? Whoops. All right. Let's stand on the oxygen. And it there it is. It's filling up. Nice. So that's our oxygen. Maybe I should have filled up Trins too. Wouldn't that be the funniest thing? We I uh, we we go to space and I forget to fill up her suit. No, oh, no. Don't give him my Ender Book. Give me back my Ender Book. Give it back. Uh, give me back my Ender Book. No, no, you can keep your pants. Give me back my book. No! There we go. The shoulder blade. All right. So let's switch this out and let's go fill up her tank as well. We don't need to do any cruel pranks on her. We don't have no idea how hard it is to get your body back when it dies on the moon. So oxygen. Filling up, perfect. I was worried that this thing was gonna get clogged for some reason. Fluid hatch empty, oxygen refilling. Cool. So now, this one is full, and this one is full. And that's I th I'm hoping that's all we need because if we need a full spacesuit, then uh, I'm pretty sure like we can just put on the rest of the suit because we're not really noticing what we need. So I'm probably gonna put on the suit anyway because I don't use the night vision. The running is nice, but we fly. And the feather fall is nice. So I feel like I should do the feather fall just in case. I last thing last thing we want is a nasty surprise. I wonder if it uses oxygen when you're not in space. All right, so let's at least make the feather fall attachment. I don't know what the anti-fog visor and stuff like that does. If I find out later that I need it, I'm going to make them real quick. But I definitely need us to go to space ASAP, because I did all the work, and we can go to space. Uh, that is everything we need. Now we just need to get on the ship and fly, because everything else was set up, right? Yeah, fuel in the bottom left is full. Cool, and I made it so that both of us could sit, and hopefully it works. I'm not sure. I am put two seats, and I built it, and it says clear for liftoff, and it should work. So let's see, what can we do this episode? Uh, I definitely would like to... Let's upgrade the Void Ore Miner from Tier 4 to Tier 5, because now we have the Nether Stars from... Uh, killing the nether that many times. So let's break this bad boy down. Grab that. Grab this. Here. The laser course. Power. The ender chest. There we go. there. What is that? Whoa. 
Whoa, where am I? Oh, this is the questing ram. Questing ram, why are you in here? You're looking down the hole? <laughs> I moved the questing ram with the uh, summoning pendulum. It's funny that you were looking into the beam of the void or miner. Don't look into the beam, you'll go blind. Here's a random power cable. I'll take you with me. And then uh, for aesthetics, I put up a stage five skull, a stage two skull, and a stage three skull. And it's, we still have our prison here. Oh my God, that is hilarious. The parrot that I caught decided to go into jail. All right, that's where you want to be, buddy. <laughs> All right, let's break down. I think I broke down everything we needed. No, we need the, the null modifiers. Get the null modifiers. We still got some clear structure panels. I did fill in the bottom of this with the purple anti-block. I like that a lot. And sea lanterns. Did I pick up a sea lantern? Yeah, I guess so. Cool. All right, and let's go upgrade this. Or we don't need to go, we can do it from here. So let me put the tier fours in, the null modifiers in, the clear structure panels, the laser cores, and then let's go void or minor controller tier five. Void or tier five. This now it's gonna start getting a little bigger. We need iridium neutron reflectors. Wow. Neutron reflectors, thick neutron reflectors. So we need two of these. So we need 12 of these, 12 times four. Wow. Is we need 48 of the neutron reflectors. Do they stack? Okay, good, they stack. And then what did we run out of? Was it pulverized tin? Pulverized tin, I could have sworn I made 2,000 of you late earlier. <clears throat> so, where did I put the neutron? Did I dump him? Okay. I need 48 of these. Going too fast. Oh, not silver, tin. Tin. We need four more. All right. We need these. Now we can make these. Okay, perfect. Twelve. Now we can make two of these. Oh, here we go. We need to make the dense copper plate and the pressurizer or the compactor. So we need copper plates and we need iridium reinforced plate. Okay, we can do that. So we need how many? We only need two of these iridium reinforced plates, right? Yeah. One and two. Perfect. And then we need copper plates. Let's grab a stack. Divide by nine is eight. Okay. Let's go down to IC2 real quick. And we do the compressor. And now that you're attached to a main line, I don't have to worry about exploding you. Just tick accelerate you, which is already enough. 
Void ore, we need two of these. One, two. Sweet. Palladium and the void ore miner, and now we have tier five. Sweet. Yes. Go to environmental tech, now we have five. Grab a loot chest. And let's see, Atheum will come from doing it. We need structure frame tier fives. Let's see if I can pull this one off. Put that up and that up. I'll put that up. Okay, so I made him a pattern for tier fives. And then I wrote down what we need. We need 62 of them. Or no, we need 72. 72. Next. See? Wow, 72 nether stars. I, I was terrified by that. And then making the, the, dropping the stacks of the wither skulls and the soul sand from vein mining, the wither, wither skulls from the mob duplicator, and then the wither builder and the mob crusher, it, it did, I think I did almost 100 just by testing the machine on stream that one time. Let's hit start, there it goes, nice. That's working, I'm glad, I'm really glad that's working. Okay, oh man, doing this manually would have been a pain in the butt. That's tier 5s. So we need structure panels. Clear structure panels. We need... Oh, okay, we only need 36 this time. It's funny, it needs less. 36, we need 6 laser lenses. which we have the five, so we need one more laser lens. Core, laser core. We need one more. What are we missing on the sides? Two connectors. And a laser core. That's six laser cores. And we need the laser lens. So that's everything we need for the tier 5. What is that? Oh, is that... Oh my god, are you serious? <laughs> I'm like, what block is that? That... That, boys... Is the Questing Ram's booty. <laughs> This game, I'm glad. I'm glad it trolls me from time to time. Alright, we need the hammer. And, let's see. Go up a little bit. Pretty sure I'm gonna need even more room. Yeah, this looks like it's gonna. I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need to open this up. Go. And up. One more. Okay. What 
is this? Is this the... Can't cut into here, because that's the top floor. Put that back. We can cut into here. That's the floor. Alright, and then let's see what we can pull off. Big tile. There. And then one, two, three, four, five, six. Six. And then let's grab the assembler and see if we have room. Now I can fly when I build this thing together. I wonder if it can fit back here. Okay, so it only goes to the beam. Alright, the beam. The beam here. Okay, we're still fitting, and it's fitting perfectly. Nice. So now it just needs to give me that that alert. So let's take this up. A little bit more. Gives us some space. some copper. Oops. Okay, that works too. That's fine. Everything's fine. Alright, and how are you doing? Assembled false. So something is causing issues. What is that? Oh. What are the issues? Does it need to be one higher? Let's see how many. We're missing... Yeah, we still got structure frames to go. It probably needs to be one higher. So let me do... This. And I'll put down... One there. And I'll put you up here. Come on, creative flight. There we go. Put you down right there. And then I will break this. Wait. Clear structure panels. Why didn't you place the structure plant panels? That's what's weird. Or the null. Modify oh, did I run out of the null modifiers? Did I not take them back out? That's probably why. So it's probably tall enough. Put you back here. And then let me get the null modifiers out. Which, uh, yeah, we can do that too. Because now we got the mica that we need to do speed up uh, upgrades null. Yeah, we got 12 null modifiers. We needed, what, 16? So we need another 4 null. What's in the middle? Interconnect? Okay, we'll make 4 interconnect. Four. One, two, three, four. That's all of the null modifiers that we need. And let's see, what are speed upgrades? Modifier, speed modifier. Yeah. So we got our speed modifier. Okay, we need the bottom piece, which is a lawn's delight. Nice, let's do that. And 
we'll grab a speed modifier and an accuracy modifier so that we can get the dingers for it. What's on the sides? Diamonds? Cool. One, two, three, four. I should put this in a compacting drawer so I have access to them. We have an accuracy modifier. That should give us two more. Yeah. Nice. I like getting the quest rewards. Or the quest completions. And yeah, I updated the mod pack and now we can click on the loot and we don't need to do the goofy scroll bar like you fixed that problem. Structure frame tier 5. And then what do we have going here? The resource miner tier 2, solar array tier 2, piezo modifier, that's for rain. Like on a solar array, if it's raining, the piezo modifier will make it gather more RF, more energy. Uh, okay, so we have a speed upgrade and we have an accuracy, a uh, speed modifier and an accuracy modifier. So let's see. Let's see. Let's get rid of this while we're here. Make it easier for me. Do I have the anti block on me? I do, and the, oh wait, they're the painted glowstone version, so let's see, do these cause issues? Yeah, it doesn't want to... Hmm, I could always replace all of the anti-block with this. How does it look when it's next to it? A little brighter. Kind of like it. Okay. Ah. Okay. Painted glowstone. Maybe it'll be brighter as well when it's under the glass, because that's what's what I think would be cool. Whoops. Whoops, again. Cresting Ram is loud. But we love you, Cresting Lamb. Let's see, we got more painted. Drop the glowstone. And yeah, this is not required. I just like being extra. Okay, that looks nice. Solid colors. And let's see if we can finish this bad boy now. We got two modifiers. I might upgrade the modifiers later. I just know it increases power consumption. Assembled false. So I have the null modifiers. I'm guessing it does need to be deeper since it won't connect anymore. And I'm glad that I have Terra Steel mining level or else I wouldn't be able to move it without a box. So yeah, let's move this guy up one. Boop. Put the stone bricks down so that I remember where it needs to be placed. Let's do this. Let's see. That, that. Whoops. I'm glad I'm using my silk touch. Alright. Did it fall? No, it's it's right here. It's all magnetized with me. Get rid of this and that and that. Sea lantern back, and now let's see if you're going to behave. <laughs> yep, 
Yeah, it needed another level. Assembled true. And, oh, I always use the wrong hand. And mirrored. Assembled true. There we go. Let's see what that base level looks like. Man. At least it still lines up. I can make more painted glowstone. This one doesn't line up. I'll move that one. Whoop. Let's see if I can do something fancy and artistic with it being up higher. Now I want to get rid of that one. Because uniformity. That's kind of interesting. It's higher up. Oh, why does it look like it's missing some? No, it's not. No, it's not. You can see through here. You can see through here. Okay, yeah. I mean, it does say it's it's functioning, functional. It's kind of neat. It still kind of shows the glowstone. It's a little different. That one needs to be brick. That needs to be brick. We can put more modifiers in. I'll probably mix and match. Speed is is better because it gets all of them, but it also dramatically speed in, increases the the power consumption dramatically. Uh, so let's see. Power. Right here, buddy. Yeah. Ender chest. Right there. Nice. And let's see. Are you already... Dimensional shard oil ore. Wow. It is working. That's a first. Let's see. Was Is that a quest for advanced rocketry, right? Dimensional shard. Yeah, we already got it from the void ore miner. That's on different planets and the void ore miner. Put you back in here for now. And let's do. Get rid of that. Get rid of the painted glowstone for right now. It's a beast. Beast. I can't wait. One more upgrade and we have a full-on Void Ore Miner going. It's beastly and impressive. I like it. I wanted to get the uh, our first Atheum crystal. Let's see. Atheum. Yeah, that'll be the next one. Get an Atheum crystal going. Let's check out one thing. We got all these loot chests. And dungeon stuff. Nothing special. Her charm. Like, the, some of the stuff would have been nice to get uh, when we started off, you know, because it has the some of the charms that are harder to get. The DU plating I'm happy for. Iridium. Runes, I don't know how to use those yet. Pumpkin seeds, you know, like we ran into a couple of issues with uh, needing to spend time finding something. We didn't have it already. Fortune 3 on an ancient tomb, that's nice. Get these in here. And... A lot of iridium shards. And it's a great source of music discs. That's something that endgame crafting is probably going to need. Put that up. Hammer. Pick. I'll keep my sword on me. There's my tool. There's my sleeping bag. I feel like I'm misplacing tools. We're good on machine structures for now. I did get the quest for it, right? Yeah, I already accepted the rolling machine. So yeah, now we need to fly to the moon so we can get dilithium. And I'll be able to set down my dialing device, matter receiver, we can beam there. And we can also take the digital miner with us. We can mine manually while the digital miner does its thing. That sounds like a lot of fun. So let me check something. 
Alright, let's see if we can do one more thing. Actually, before we go outside, let's sleep, and then we can head home. And I'm planted a couple more seeds from those gardens that I've been seeing around because I want to see if I can put these all into the cooking bench. Will they start giving me the uh, the new like foods that I haven't eaten yet? That's what I was getting at. So let's put this down. Surprise! You surprise! You survived that first shot. Okay, let's get this guy knocked down. Gotta get rid of you. I know I originally did not want to upgrade this because I don't see a point to it, but uh, it, there are quests for it and it gives me something a little bit extra to do. Two more foods I haven't eaten, so let's upgrade uh, the... Now that I have them on Speedcraft, we need Tier 2. And we need 32 in total of tier 2s. So let's put this stuff in here. Put the solar cells up. I'll make that manually. Null modifiers. And the laser cores can stay with me. We'll put this up. And let's go. Tier 2. We need a total of... Let's go straight for the solar array as well. So we'll do 56 total. 50, 6. Nice. I love seeing this thing work so quickly. Fifty six. Structure panels. We need sixteen. The laser cores, now we need a, another laser core. We need two more interconnects. We need the four null modifiers. Excellent, four null modifiers. That'll build the tier two. Put these guys down. I actually needed more than that. I usually, usually use this. So we needed to go up one more. And then drop the... Okay, we need to upgrade the void resource miner, of course. Void resource to a tier 2. Okay, cool. I already have everything I need. Uh... Void resource, tier two, cool. And then let's do the, let's put this guy down first. I believe that's high enough. And then we can get rid of that and get rid of this. As our building blocks, we can pull out the assembler again. And let's put this guy together. Okay, graphical error. I thought it wasn't building that side. What are you missing? Did you eat my laser lens? Yeah, you ate my laser lens. Glass. And let's do an H. 
We got a laser lens. And now, assembled. True. Perfect. So you're going to start going. I'll go ahead and I'll put the ender chest down so that it can start putting it in here. There. And then we need to also upgrade the solar array to a tier two. All right, solar array tier two. We need three of the, four of these erodium solar cells. Times four. Okay. Array tier two, and we put you in here. It's cool. We got the array, the solar array tier two. That should give us the dinger as well. Cool. So that's what I was hoping for. I was hoping to get two more dingers out of this episode. We got this one and that one. And let's see, what else did we need? We needed for the solar array, we need the 24 tier two structure flame, structure frames. We got those and we need 25 solar cells. All right, so we need these. Erodium requires litharite. Okay, cool. So we have a couple of litharites. These five will be upgraded and the rest will be made. So we need a total of 25. And go. 25 solar cells, we need another four null modifiers. which I could make a piezo modifier now. What's missing in the middle? Interconnect. We need a total of four. Glad I have the signalium ready for this. No. We need four. Sweet, and let's see, piezo. We'll do. We'll make one of them for the quest. We'll make one of them for now. I'll upgrade them if I have to later on. And we'll put the solar array right there. And let's tag this guy. Have you build? I hope it's not too close to the building now. Cool, assembled true. Assembled true. And now it's getting the power required to run it. Whoa, this thing is getting cool and I love that it's purple. Now I'll I'll be able to put the painted glowstone inside this thing too. I can put I'll 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 either do accuracy accuracy modifiers up the power usage, but not dramatically. So I might do accuracy modifiers on these and I'll put I'll probably make two more of the three three more of these piezo modifiers even though it's not really that necessary. What I'm thinking is like I have this thing completely autonomous. The power that it's getting from the solar array is going into the machine. And it's running this machine and only this machine. If I took a power cell and I put the power cell in between these two machines, I made the top an input, I'd be getting the full amount of power into the power cell grid, and then the bottom is output into the void resource miner. If there is a difference in how much power this thing can generate, that uh, if there's if this thing is generating more power than this machine uses then I would get a net gain out of it but let's see because I kinda like just having it simple and having the machines touch each other void resource miner tier 2 solar array tier 2 and it doesn't as far as I understand it doesn't give me anything else let's see real quick I might be wrong void resource 
Miner tier 2 and we'll hit use and then let's see marble, limestone, slate, basalt, stone, granite, diorite, andesite, grass, gravel, dirt, podzol, sand, red sand, gravel, uh, obsidian, clay, netherrack, soul sand, so I won't have to go vein mine, endstone, mycelium, all of the terracottas, sponge, mica. So it's a total of 21 items. Let's see, tier 1, use. Total of 21 items. It's the same amount, it just does it faster, I think. Let's see, tier 3, 21 items. Tier 4, 21 items. Tier 5, 21 items. Tier 6, come on. Tier 6 has to do something crazy, right? 21 items. So it just it does the same thing, it just does it faster. Which doesn't matter to me because I leave my computer on during the day when I go to work. So I don't need it to be faster. Maybe if I turned off my game. But like bigger, badder, just because I can, maybe I'll just keep doing it. Maybe I'll repurpose the solar cells to do some power. Uh, instead of plugging it into the, this machine, I'm going to use the solar cell to generate power because it doesn't have to be plugged into the resource miner from what I understand. But yeah, there we go. We upgraded the... We did the last machines and the last bit of prep work for uh, going into space. We're good now. And we upgraded all three of our env environmental tech machines. So, oh yeah, and then we got the piezo modifier. Solar Array Tier 3, Void Resource Tier 3, Atheum, let's see if we've gotten already our first Atheum. There we go. We got the Atheum Dinger. Last stop, Tier 6, and Structure Frame Tier 6. And then we can just knock these out. And it's funny, I'm going to finish the environmental tech section. So let's go into our home before I start spewing these items everywhere. And let's uh, end the episode with what's inside my loot box, which is probably a whole bunch of the same stuff, even more Ur Chimes. We have like 20 of the Lexia but Lexica Botanias now. It's kind of r ridiculous if you think about it. I don't know what these capacitor things do in the conduit probes. I'll learn it eventually. Maybe they're invaluable. And I'm making out like a bandit right now. Pumpkin seeds, lost capacitors, also Ender IO. I need to watch the Ender IO spotlight. I haven't watched that one yet. All right. Get all this junk off the floor. Oh, the Atheum. I'll get it back. Put this stuff up. We got Giga Pickles. Tin ingots that look like Iridium. mechanism there we go that last machine that we needed to go to the moon cool so we'll leave off on that thank you so much for watching and definitely tune in tomorrow